Hi everybody, it's Tina and I'm here in my new sewing room and I thought I'd give you a little tour. So let's take a look around. So there it is, the whole room in all its glory. I love this space. All my favorite things are here. Um, so I'm gonna start on this side and tell you a little bit about what I have, what I did. This is the cutting and pressing station. The base is three Ikea basket things. I will put the details in the notes and in the blog post so you'll know what all I bought. Um, there are huge baskets. So I have eight drawers full of scraps. The great thing is that I can see everything that I have from my sewing machine. So hopefully I'll use more of it. This side is prints. Those are solids. And this drawer is all salvages. Then I have a drawer full of batting scraps, an empty drawer still, how is that even possible? And those two random drawers I still need to sort through. So for the pressing surface, I had a big board that was recy a recycled um, desk from my son's room. And if I had put it flush on top of those drawers, it would have been a little bit too low, even for me, the short one. So I got these really tiny little legs and screwed them into the corners. And now I have a neat little shelf to put all the big rulers and old mats and things like that can sit right there underneath. And I recovered the big board with an old curtain that used to hang in this room and I'm not using anymore. The really cute bucket has textile recycling. So all the scraps that are too small to go in the scrap bin go in there and will be recycled. There's a wool mat that I kind of really like now. The rail system is from Ikea and that holds all my cutting tools. There's a floating shelf above that and the basket in the middle has all the smaller rulers my starch and um, glue for glue basting are handy. And if I move over and reduce the glare, you can see Riley and some hoop art hanging on the wall there. If we make our way around, there's a big bookshelf. The one that I really wanted from Ikea has, is being discontinued, so it was out of stock. So this one's from Amazon and I haven't unpacked all my books yet. So there's still some things on those shelves that won't stay there for long. Um, I need to find all the rest of my books. The orange curtains were debatable. They're okay when I keep them open. If I draw them closed, it casts too much of an orange glare and that's not ideal for choosing fabrics in here. I made the macrame plant hanger. Oh, I made that clock over there too, but that needs to be repaired. It's stuck at six oh two at six minutes after two. Um, this plant shelf I also made with a six foot long board and um, contact paper that looks like marble covering the board. I knew I was going to put plants on it. I know I'm going to spill on it. So I wanted something that would be easy to clean up and I can change it whenever I wanna change it. The legs came from Ikea. It was sagging a little bit in the middle, so I shoved a dowel under there in the middle to support the center. The rolling carts I had, they need to be resorted and labeled. That little lamb was a gift to my mother with flowers in it when I was born. So cute. The sewing tables, I, I've had this white sewing table for a while and I love it. And I want to get another one to put the featherweight on. So that's coming soon, I hope. 
Um, the orange chair is from Wayfair. Love that. I kind of want another one, but I love this vintage office chair from GE too. My father worked at General Electric Company in Schenectady forever, and they used to have warehouse sales and the employees could go in and buy used office furniture. So that's where that chair came from. Over here in this corner, I just got this cart this rolling shelf to put all the project boxes on i've got a ton more in the basement so i might buy another one of those shelves they're very handy i like it a lot that tall spiky cactusy looking plant came from a quilting friend i saw it on her uh, in her zoom background one day and she was getting ready to prune it so she gave me a couple clippings and it it's doing great this little um, design wall is made from two pieces of foam core covered in white flannel. And I used to just keep it on the floor and then I could fold it up and, and take it with me. But I needed, I needed it as a zoom background. So usually when I zoom, I take that machine out of there and I sit there and set up my computer and monitors and that makes a great zoom background and I can pin whatever quilt I want to behind me, depending on what lecture or workshop I'm doing. So that works. Uh, the little wooden hexagons were unfinished wood from Michael's, a dollar a piece, and they kind of match my logo, which is fun. The award ribbons are pinned to an eight foot long map rail that's got a strip of cork down the middle. And that's from Staples. It was delivered in a big long tube. It was pretty cool. That works great. Those shelves I've had and a lot of my favorite things are on them. Julia made that knife painting when she was in Tanzania. The vanity that, that I'm using in here as a desk was my grandmother's vanity. The mirror is long gone, so I moved Bill's mother's vanity into our bedroom, which is bigger than this one, and we still have the mirror for that one, so like I'm not going to alter that one at all. But this one, the finish is pretty bad, and I, you know, I won't mind painting it. I'm going to paint it white at some point and I'll repaint the chair. Then we have the big design wall on this wall, which was here before in the last iteration of this room. And we had to take it down so I could paint the room. And when we put it back up again, it didn't want to stay flat on the wall because it's like smaller pieces of styrofoam all taped together and then covered with flannel. And so it was just like bowing where all the seams were. So we nailed it to the wall and it's just fine. Some projects that I might get back to someday. Yep. And the closet needs work. We had taken the doors off of the kids' closets years ago because they kept falling off the tracks and we had curtains or blinds hung over those um, openings. But I think I want to store all my quilts in this closet, so I'll be buying new shelving and painting the doors and hanging the doors back on because they will need to stay in the dark. So that's that. Oh, and this cool rug I bought before Riley moved in, and I really like it because it's got all the colors in it but I just found a rug that has various shades of blue hexagons, which matches my logo. So I might be switching out this rug soon. So there it is. I've got two sewing tables if anybody wants to come over and sew with me.